Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the third part of chapter three. And what we covered earlier was on supporting materials. It included verbal support, visual support, some guidelines for using visual aids, and remember to practice, 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 because practice makes perfect. So for this section of chapter 2, we will be covering methods of delivery. Okay, now there are four types of methods of delivery, or four ways of delivering speeches. The first one is manuscript. So manuscript is basically reading from a script or a text. Can you think of someone who would actually read off a script? It is not encouraged for you to read off a script when you are doing your presentation. But perhaps somebody who is like an anchor person, someone who reads the news, would be reading off a script. The next method is memorized. Memorizing is not such a bad idea, but it could be quite bad if suddenly you forget, forget a word or forget a line, and there goes everything. But at certain times, a person who is an actor might want to memorize his script or speech. The third way is impromptu. So impromptu is basically when you are unprepared. You do not have enough time, not enough, but you do not have time to come up with a proper speech. Normally, someone is given like, you know, the microphone and say, hey, say something at a person's birthday party or something. So, yeah. Not advisable, but if you have a lot of ideas on what to say, then go ahead. The last one is extemporaneous. Think about it. What do you think it means? Is it reading from a script? Is it memorizing? Or is it impromptu? Well, extemporaneous is a little bit of this and that. That is as much as I can say. Extemporaneous is planned and rehearsed, but not word for word. That means you have an idea of what you want to say but you do not read off a script. You could, however, carry notes. Yeah, an extemporaneous speech is the most valuable and useful type of delivery. And that is the idea for, or that is the main goal of teaching PCS to UTP students to become extemporaneous speakers. I mentioned earlier that you could bring notes. So yeah, take your notes when you are doing your presentation. It's fine. But try not to read them. You could get a little carried away by depending too much on your notes. So that is the reason why you need to practice. Okay, so do not depend too much on your notes. I think that is all for this section. Uh, let's see, I think there are some exercises up ahead. Oops, but before that, a short recap on the four types of, or four ways of delivering speech. Manuscript, memorize, impromptu, and extemporaneous. 
So there is an exercise on page 24. If you were to look at it, it basically requires you to imagine if you have to give a presentation on the advantages of studying at UTP based on location of transitions which is found on table 2.1 where is that yeah 2.1 it is on page 17 plan your speech and prepare a skeleton of your presentation provide at least two main points then compare your notes with your classmates pay attention to the transitions right you need to come up with a skeletal uh, presentation that means just come up with an idea a plan okay but you need to follow the location of transitions as um, stated in table 2.1 you might want to read up what has been explained before table 2.1 and after table 2.1 to get an idea of what is expected of you right then for question two look at this slide look at it and identify the negative aspects of the slide how would you improve the slide Think hard. <laughs> okay, that's all for today. Um, we will continue with other chapters very soon.